Hello and welcome to the SBR Show YouTube channel and welcome to the You Can Coaching Triathlon Hub. Uh, I am here to go in the Endless Pool. Uh, if you want to check out the Endless Pool then I'll drop a link down below for you to check, check that out. Uh, I'm here to uh, try and work on my front crawl technique. Uh, if you're like me, you've spent uh, summer swimming outside, uh, yeah, working on speed for races and really not really working on your technique. So. Yeah, my technique's gone a bit to pot, so I've come here to uh, work on three different things. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get changed, uh, I'm gonna jump in the pool, have a warm up, uh, and then I will join you after, uh, and we'll go through the three things I'm gonna look at today, uh, and yeah, see if I can become a better swimmer. Right, so we're changed, we're in the pool. Uh, to note, when I'm working on my technique, uh, I don't try and change everything. All I try and do is think about one thing at a time. So if I'm thinking about my arm position, I just worry about my arm position. If I'm thinking about my head position, I just think about my head position. If you think about too many things when you're swimming, it just all goes to pot. So yeah, just try and focus and isolate one thing. And that's my plan today, just to work on the one thing. So yeah, let's get warmed up. Uh, let's have a bit of a swim. Uh, and then yeah, we'll look at uh, what three things I'm sort of looking to improve on in my swimming to make me faster. Okay, so I've had a warm up. Uh, I'm nice, ready to go, I'm all nice and loose now, so now I'm going to work on my technique. Uh, so number one thing that I'm looking to improve on while I'm in this session is my head position. Uh, so yeah, I've done a lot of open water swimming, like most people, we tend to start looking forwards uh, instead of relaxing our head and seeing sort of the tile beneath us. We start just looking towards the front. We start lifting our head up because we're trying to sight, we're trying to look. Uh, so yeah, I need to overwinter, try and get that back out of my stroke. Uh, yeah, if I get my head position in the right place, obviously that streamlining just comes. Breathing's easier. So everything comes from this head position. So let's uh, try and get nice and relaxed. Let's try and get my head position in the right place. Uh, uh, yeah, see what, see what we can do with it. I think, uh, yeah, it's definitely a weakness of mine and something I need to work on. So. Yeah, let's film it, let's have a look at it. Yeah, give me some tips, some feedback, whatever you see in my stroke. Like I say, I'm individualizing what I'm working on. So yeah, I am just gonna work my head. So if my arms go a bit crap or my legs go a bit crap, I'm not focused on that. I'm just focused on my head position. So yeah, let's give it a go. Let's try and get as low as I can and uh, let's do some swimming. So I think there's definitely some improvements there. Uh, yeah, good sort of uh, 20 minutes working on that. Working through, getting my head in the right position, trying to think about relaxing it. So yeah, I feel like there's an improvement. Now I've got to go away, try and put that into practice when we're doing a session. Yeah, I might just spend the next uh, try session just thinking about my head position for the whole hour, just work on head position. So number two thing that I'm gonna work on that I've been thinking about is my arms being on the tracks. So my arms should be shoulder width, nice and relaxed on the tracks. What I'm tending to do is when I rotate, I'm coming across the body and coming across the body and coming across the body. And I've noticed I've started doing it, started creeping into my stroke. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes just working on, can I keep my arms on the tracks? So it sounds easier than it actually is. Uh, but yeah, something for me to work on, something for me to think about. Uh, yeah, I've not filmed myself for quite a while doing this. So yeah, we'll see what it looks like. We'll, yeah, see if I, I don't know if I've got any old videos I can compare it against, but hopefully I can uh, start to try and improve that.
So yeah, what did you think of that? Any better? Does it look, look like they're on the tracks? They look like they're in the right place? Uh, yeah, when you're swimming, it's very hard to tell, isn't it, where, you, where you, your sort of arms are, where your legs are. So yeah, it's always good to get feedback on these videos. Uh, yeah, the first time I'll see it is when I'm editing this video. So yeah, you'll see this probably as quickly as I'll see it. So yeah, no real before and after, which I could probably do. But if you go back to one of my old videos, I think I did a video uh, something like how crap is my front crawl technique. I go there, have a look at that one first, then come here, see if I've improved in the last year. Fingers crossed I have. And lastly, the third thing that I want to improve on, which you don't need an endless pool for this, uh, you can do this anywhere, is consistency. Uh, yeah, I need to be more consistent with my swimming. Yeah, sort of go through periods. Probably like most of you triathletes out there where you do a bit of swimming, you stop, a bit of swimming, you stop. Uh, so yeah, very much got to be more consistent. I need to make sure when I, my coach says two sessions a week, I'm doing two sessions. If I can do any more, do some more. But yeah, do at least two sessions a week. Uh, yeah, the consistency is what is going to make me a faster swimmer. If I could get to the pool more and it wasn't so much of a faff, I'd swim a lot more. But it's much easier to go for a run. It's much easier to jump on the bike than it is to actually get to a pool. Uh, yeah, I'm very lucky that I get to use the UCAN Coaching Triathlon Hub Pool. Uh, yeah, it's hassle-free, it's easy, it's, uh, yeah, it's convenient for me. I pass this place twice a week, uh, well, twice a day on my way to and from work. So yeah, very convenient for me. So yeah, if you fancy uh, checking out, go and check out Penny's website. Uh, so yeah, just got to be consistent. Simple. It sounds, sounds simple, and it's just not, is it? Do you struggle to get to the pool, or is it, am I just the only one that struggles to get to the pool? So that's it, swimming all done. Uh, yeah, found some improvements there. Uh, yeah, don't forget to give me any tips, any advice uh, for anything you do see. Uh, I did breathe to my left every side because I had a camera sat on the side. So yeah, always breathing to the left. I, I can buy that, that's not a problem. So yeah, we can box that one off. Uh, but yeah, definitely give me tips and advice. Uh, yeah, we're all done. Uh, to note, I have uh, brought my swim time by, down by about 10 seconds per 100. Uh, over the last year, so it's definitely coming down, uh, going in the right direction. Uh, if I can spend a whole winter working on these technique, and well, every time I swim, I think about the technique, but yeah, if we can uh, improve all that, and I'm gonna get out of the pool now, get everything cleaned up, get the mop out, clean the floor up, uh, clean everything, do the dehumidifiers, uh, yeah, do the jobs that I'm supposed to be doing while I'm here for Penny, and yeah, it's, uh, I'll catch up with you in a minute. So I'm showered and changed. Thank you very much for watching. I probably didn't explain what I was trying to do that well. Uh, yeah, this trying to do swim videos. Uh, yeah, it's new to me. I'm trying to make better swim video content. So if there's something you want to see, uh, something you want to know about, then please let me know. Uh, yeah, pools all put away, covers back on. Uh, if you notice up here, one of the things I did, arms along the tracks, that's one of the things that I did uh, today. Uh, so yeah, again, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.